Hello and welcome to the second part of my tutorial Firefox OS programming. In the first part you learned how to set up the Firefox OS simulator and work with it. Well, there are two important things I have to add. First, of course you need the Firefox browser to work with the Firefox OS simulator. And second, you should have at least version 26 of Firefox. Okay, now that's cleared. Let's start developing our first app for Firefox OS. So, let's get started with our first app for Firefox OS. Well, basically there are two ways to develop apps for Firefox OS. The basic way and the professional way. Um, these are terms I invented, but uh, <laughs> suffice it to say that in this part of the tutorial we are using the basic way. Okay. All you need for this first tutorial is a basic text editor like Notepad++, or you can also use the standard Windows uh, Notepad application. Okay. So, what do we need for our first application? Well, first you have to create an empty folder on your system. Um, you can see here, this is my project structure. I created subdirectories and uh, in the directory first I placed um, my files for this first application. Well, if you uh, start writing the app, you have an empty folder and you have to create these two files. And, okay, let's start with the, this file here, manifest.webapp. This file describes uh, the whole app and now let's see what's in it. So open your text editor and I have prepared the file here and I will explain the contents of the file now. This uh, looks to me almost like JSON notation, I'm not sure, but um, okay. What can we see here? First, give your app a version, for example, 1. Give your application a name, hello world, and a description. The next part here, icons is necessary for this file, but you don't have to create these icons. Um, the Firefox OS simulator or the devices themselves um, use standard icons uh, if you don't provide them. So, write down icons, but you don't have to create the icons now. Then, launch path. What is launch path? It's simply the file which should be loaded when you start the app index HTML in this case. Then you can say something about yourself, your name and an URL for the app. The default locale, this means the default language for this app is in this case English EN. That's all you need to know for now about this file. So use your favorite text editor, create this file call it manifest.webapp and enter these info uh, this information. Of course, you can use your name and you can call the app uh, Hello My World or whatever you like. Usually, you don't have to edit this file again. Um, of course, if you want to use, for example, um, access to the location of the device you have to add uh, more things like permissions to access the GPS sensor but um, all this stuff is explained in a later chapter of this tutorial. Okay, so let's see what's in the second file index.html nothing, of course, because I didn't enter anything yet. Well, I told you that apps in Firefox OS are completely based on HTML5, CSS and JavaScript. So, what we are going to do is to write a simple 
HTML file HTML5 file. Doc type HTML. Um, the HTML tag, and of course we will close the tag. Then we have the hat tag. In the hat we have the title. Hello world. And then we have the body of the HTML document. And to keep it simple, let's just use a header one with the text Hello Firefox World. Okay. This is everything you need for your first app, for your first Firefox OS app. Now save the file under the name index.html and now we have two files in our project folder, the HTML document index.html and the manifest web app. Only two simple files. Now let's go back to our Firefox OS dashboard and you can see no apps installed because we didn't define a directory for an app. So now select add directory and select the project structure on your system the folder first in my case and select the web app the manifest.webapp file then open it and you see the simulator instantly is starting up and your application your first Firefox OS app is running and to be sure that this is indeed uh, an app click the home button and here you can see a default icon for your app. Hello world, this is your first app. Congratulations! If there were any errors in your app or in your file um, manifest.web app, the Firefox OS dashboard would tell you here what is wrong. We can um, simulate an error, <laughs> let's call it simulate an error. I go to the manifest.webapp file and let's for example delete the icons. So no icons are present in the description. I save the file and now you can press refresh and then the app is revalidated and rerun. The application is running without a problem, that's okay, but you see one warning. If you click the warning you should get an explanation, yeah, missing icons in manifest. Okay, we go back to our manifest file and correct the error, or the warning in this case, save the file again, go back to the dashboard refresh and the warnings are gone. Simulator is still running. Our app works fine. So now let's go a little further and add some color to our first project simply by adding styles, cascading style sheets. Usually you have your styles in an external file, but um, for the case of simplicity I'll add them here. Style 
type is text CSS and um, let's define a class let's name it uh, red and uh, of course mm, background color red I hope this will work I reference the class here and now the background of the text should be red. Alright, now our first app is written in HTML5 and CSS. This concludes the second part of the tutorial Firefox OS programming and in the third part we'll also add JavaScript.